A Granbury attorney who has served as head of the far-right militia group, the Oath Keepers, was in federal court earlier this afternoon following her arrest earlier today. So she has been charged in connection with the January 6th attack on the Capitol. And our Andrea Lucia learning that the attorney can be released but with some conditions. Well, she can't travel to D.C., she can't carry firearms, and she can't have contact with anyone connected to this case. But she will be allowed out to await trial. <laughs> According to the Department of Justice, Kelly Sorrell was there in the crowd when a mob attacked the U.S. Capitol. Video shows she was there in a D.C. parking garage, too, the night before when leaders of the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys met to allegedly discuss their plans for January 6th. And a newly unsealed indictment alleges she was still involved the day after, tampering with evidence by persuading people to withhold records and alter, destroy, mutilate, and conceal objects. Sorrell's appearance in federal court this afternoon came just hours after her arrest in West Texas. According to the State Bar of Texas, Sorrell is a licensed attorney with a practice based in Granbury, though she gets her mail in the town of Junction, Texas, where federal agents found her today. She's best known for her involvement with the Oath Keepers, the far-right militia group, whose founder, Stuart Rhodes, is set to go on trial later this month for allegedly conspiring to interfere with the peaceful transfer of presidential powers. We interviewed Terrell outside the federal courthouse in Plano back in January after Rhodes' arrest. It's bull Nobody no. said to storm the Capitol. See, that's that's the funny part. That's the twist. That's the lie. And what is happening in D.C. is unethical. Sorrell at the time said she'd taken control of the Oath Keepers. Sorrell's next court hearing is set for next Tuesday in a D.C. court via Zoom. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.